The Mississippi River is one of the most beautiful features in the Quad Cities. That's why over a hundred people came out today to give it a refresh and clean up the banks. It is our top story tonight. The volunteers picked up trash stretching from Lindsay Park to Credit Island. The event was a much bigger hit than the city was anticipating. As Local 4's Zachary Winnicky tells us, it was a big help before a busy summer. Activities are coming back to the Quad Cities this summer. I'm more than ready. More than ready. I love the outdoor events. So today, hundreds of people showed up to the Clare Park to give the riverfront a much needed facelift before a busy season. After uh, 2019 with record flooding here and then last year with the pandemic and so it just has felt like we haven't been able to have our own riverfront for a couple years. It's not glamorous work, but very important. That's part of our job as stewards of, um, stewards of the earth is to keep it clean. The river, the streets and everything. So we just enjoy coming out and picking up trash. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a lot of it. They've already traded out our bags. It's just, it's, it's just normal trash. Two bags. Two bags. Two big bags, yes. It's not an ideal site. Everybody should want to have a, like a clean community and like not have like trash everywhere. Because for many, the riverfront is a huge source of pride. It's amazing. I use the bike paths on both sides of the river all the time. It's, it's, we're very lucky to live in this area and have the resources that we have. The hope is these piles will get smaller over time. People just are careless. You just need to take it with you instead of letting it fly. If something is beneath you, pick it up. But after a tough day of work, the focus is now on summer fun. Are you guys excited to have all the things come back and have a fun summer? Yes. They, <laughs> yes, we're excited about it. We're looking forward to it. Zachary Winnicky, Local 4 News. And organizers say that they plan on having more community projects in the future. Now, if you want us to know about community projects you're part of, tell us more on the free Our Quad Cities app. You can sign up for breaking news alerts and follow your favorite teams as well. And be sure to like us on social media platforms.